a chord is two or more different notes played together at the same time. Now a chord progression is a series of chords played in a sequence. And most times chord progressions are the foundation for the melodies in a song. So if you have great chords, you are most likely going to end up having great melodies. Now we'll be using a simple number count, right? One, three, five. So counts to create chords, okay? Now there are several types of chords, okay? We have the major chord, minor chords, major sevenths, minor sevenths, ninths, suspended two, suspended four chord, okay? So we're going to look at what all of these mean. So FL Studio makes it quite easy for you to create chords, okay? When you right click a sound and you go to the piano roll of that sound, okay? So first thing, you want to be able to see all your keys. So you come right here, this drop down menu right here, come down to help um, view. Then you come to key labels and make sure all notes is selected so you can see all the note names, okay? Then next, let's create a major chord. Now it's currently in C major. And how do I know it's in C major scale? When you click this drop down, okay, you come to help us, okay? Then you come to scale highlighting, okay? You can see root note C scale, it's in major, okay? So if I want to create a chord with the 135 system I mentioned earlier, I'll have to just pick any of the, the highlighted scale. You can see these light gray lines, right? Those are the notes that make up the scale, okay? The light gray lines. Then we have to avoid the dark gray ones, okay? Let me make this bigger. So we're going to avoid these dark grays, okay? And then work with only the light grays, okay? Hope that makes sense. So we can pick any of these notes. Okay, and cre let's create a chord. So I'm going to just click this. Now you can see six beside this. It means is the name of the octave. Okay, that means we're on the sixth octave where you see an alphabet having a number attached to it. That is the corresponding octave. Okay, so if we scroll down with our mouse wheel, you come with the slider right here. You can scroll down, and if you want to zoom in, you can hold the slider right here. When you pinch it in it zooms in when you drag it out it zooms out okay so let's have this on f for example you can be on anything you could use a g c d right it doesn't matter what you use okay just stick to this highlighted scale okay so now this is number one okay then remember it's one three five this is one this is two this is three so we have three right here this is four and this is five so we have five right here and when we play it you can see it sounds pleasant, right? So this is a major chord, okay? Now let's do a minor chord, okay? Now you can come right here to this drop down, come to help us, change scale highlight. If you still want to work with C, that is fine, okay? Let's change it now to minor, okay? Minor natural, okay? Now you see it's going to change it a little bit, so you can still click right here. One, this is one, this is two, this is three. So three, four, five. And when I play it, You can hear the difference, right? This is the minor and this is the major. So now let's do a major seventh. Okay, major seventh is easy, it's just one, three, five, seven. Okay, so let's clear this out. Come right here, help us, skill highlights, come back to major. Okay, one, two, three four five six seven and when i play it so this is the regular triad okay three notes are called a triad this is the seventh then this is the ninth one three five nine okay one three five six seven eight nine so this is the ninth so this is the ninth okay so now let's do the same for minors, okay? So we're going to change it again. Come down, help us, scale highlight, come down to minor natural, okay? So now let's do the same thing. Three, five, okay? So let's do seven, five, six, seven. Nice triad. Seven, then let's do nine, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so that's it. Now we also have suspended two and suspended four chord. 
what it simply means you take the third okay remember this is one three five okay doesn't matter major or minor you take the third number three okay bring it to number two or to number four because one two three four five okay so you take this third bring it down that is suspended two or sus two chord That is suspended four or sus four chord. Okay, you simply took the third and took and take it to the fourth or take it to the second. Okay, okay. So let's build a chord progression. Now there are two chord progressions. There are three chord progressions. There are even four chord progressions. Some songs have more than four chord progressions, but most songs range between two and four chord progressions. All right. Now these chords have to fit within two four or eight bars okay even if you are creating a three chord progression it has to fill in two or four or eight bars please there's nothing like six bars three bars five bars okay by bars i'm talking about this you can see this number this number right here the top black um panel right here right this place right here this is a bar okay this is one bar this is another bar this is another bar okay this is another bar all right so please it has to be either two bars because this is one and two okay or let me change this to bar most that's easier for you to understand so it has to be two bars this is one and two or it has to be four bars one two three four okay not three bars one two three it's not complete okay you can also make it eight bars if your production is that much now let's create a simple chord progression. Remember, a chord progression is just you moving across different chords. Okay, so let's start from F. You can start from any of the alpha, any of the highlighted, you know, um, um, lanes. Okay, and I can go down or up because G is still highlighted. So you can see this is a simple triad. So these are simple triads, okay? You can see all the chords just by sticking within the light gray lines and doing one, three, five, okay? So you have to make sure your chords sound good, okay? You may need to spend more time to know which connects. So when you do, when you play a chord, always hear it leads into the next one, okay? Until you like the next chord before you move on to the other. Don't just create rush and create all of them, okay? Create one, here it runs into the other, then create the next, then create the next. Okay, you can see these are four chords occupying each bar. Okay, occupying each bar. And when you're done creating the chord, hear how it sounds when it loops. Okay, so you allow it to play over and over again without, you know, stopping it. Okay, so if you like how it sounds when it plays over and over again, then you can move on, you know, to make, to develop the chords, okay? So now we're going to develop our chords to make it sound more interesting by turning some into sevens and nines and even trying um, suspended chords and inversions as well. So this, so let's try a, sev a sevens here. This is one, three, five already. Five, six, seven. Let's see how it sounds. This is seven, it, it sounds nice, but let's try a nine, five, six, this is seven, eight, nine, okay. Okay, that sounds nice. So now let's try the same thing here, seven here, five, seven. And let's try a nine here. like that tone okay so let's try the same thing right here this is five six seven okay same thing we'll try a seven and a nine right here five six seven
Okay, let's try a nine. Nah, it doesn't sound too good. So I think I'll bring it back down to seven. All right. So now we're going to try the suspended chord. Okay, most times suspended chord do sound good towards the last chord. Okay, but it could also work at any point. But a lot of times it sounds good at the last chord. So I'm going to try this. This is one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so let's try the suspended two and see how it sounds. Now nah, let's. Try. Sounds good, but now let me show you a trick. Okay, you can split your chord into two equal halves by using your knife tool when you split it up. All right, and then you can turn this into the suspended chord. You can see that, right? So now we have a decent sounding progression. So in inversion, there's something called the first inversion and the second inversion, okay? The first inversion is when you take the notes forming the chord, okay? That is the bass notes, and you take it up by one octave, okay? So now this is the first inversion, okay? And this is how it sounds. And this is how it sounds ordinarily. And then if you want to do the third inversion, you take the notes, that is the fifth, remember the one, three, five, okay? And you bring it down an octave. So you can use this to create, you know, character in your chord. So let me take this note, okay? Create a first inversion right here. And then the last note right here also creates an inversion. And then you can also toggle your chords between across octaves, okay? You can bring this down, control down. There's more to creating chords, but for the most part, this is what you need to know if you are making commercial or popular genres of music. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button so others can see too. And subscribe for more tips and tricks. Cheers.